Many of the world's fashion brands are made here, in Bangladesh. But when COVID-19 struck, many closed their stores or went bust. Orders worth over US $3 billion were cancelled. I think most of the brands just, you know, woke up one fine morning and decided that, you know, COVID would mean 100% uncertainty for their business. So they just turned around and evoked a lot of force major clauses in their contracts and said, we can't pay you. The country relies heavily on the global supply chains of international fashion brands. Nearly 85% of its exports depend on the garment industry. One of Bangladesh's big success stories is that it was a poster child for a certain kind of globalization. So in the era when globalization was going great guns, Bangladesh and its exporting garment industry was a big success, a huge generator of employment. In the pandemic, that has been very problematic. One of them declared bankruptcy. And by declaring bankruptcy, they have basically said that they are not going to be able to pay our dues. These are against goods and services which we have provided them over the last six months. They have taken delivery of goods worth about two million US, which they are not paying for. His factory, which makes sweaters and pullovers for big French brands, had to axe 300 of its 1,500 workers. And worse might come. The future is looking very, very, very bleak. We are now in a situation where every factory is retrenching or reducing capacities. But factories have little legal recourse to demand that international retailers fulfill the terms of their contracts. Should global brands be doing more for workers' rights? It's just not a question of 10 or 20 people. It's a question of millions of workers. So brands must be held responsible for how they behave. And this is not right what, what has happened so far. They should have a costing and a calculation where they're able to pay workers a living wage and also making sure that they are contributing or helping factories to set up uh, an unemployment insurance scheme. The Bangladeshi government has provided a U.S. $588 million package to help garment factories cover the wages of 4.1 million workers. But this still can't avert job losses, which are helping to create a new poor, like Suleha.